Okay, Angela, let's try this one. Train A leaves New York at 6 p.m., going 60 miles an hour. Train B leaves Chicago at the same time, going 30 miles an hour. Given the total distance of 1,000 miles, at what time will the two trains pass each other? I don't know. What if one of the trains gets derailed? <laughs> Angela! Well, they always do. And they spill toxic gas, and the whole town has to get evacuated. Angela, that's not our problem. I think pollution's everyone's problem. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. We're studying. Congratulations. Hello, Mrs. Owens. I'm Angela. Yes, I remember you from yesterday. <laughs> anyway, Angela and I are going to do real good in my algebra midterm. I hope so. You've really got to bring that grade up. You've been doing terribly. Yeah, math is real important. I like when you have to figure out stuff like if a bus leaves Beaver Falls at 4 p.m., how long will it take to get to the ski lodge in the Poconos? Heather. Well, you said I could go skiing if I did better on my test. A lot better. I will. Hello, Mrs. Owens. Hi. Hello, ladies. Hi, Mr. Belvedere. What are those? Our school books. All right. It's just that I've never seen them open like that. <laughs> yep, yeah, me and Heather are studying. Heather and I are studying. Does that mean I have to leave? <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi. How did you do? Great. I sold 20 boxes of cookies. Ooh, that's not bad for your first day. I'm going to sell some more to Mr. Belvedere. Is he having his tea yet? Yeah, he just went in the kitchen. But you know, honey, Mr. Belvedere likes his own special cookies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for something? Wesley, have you seen that box of butter bickies? You know, the ones I import from England. You mean the cookies I buy in the sauerkraut? Yes, Wesley. No, nope, haven't seen them. Wesley, you know that Mr. Belvedere enjoys a little something with his afternoon tea. Yeah, I know. Here, try one of these. Mmm, delicious. A chocolate mint. Want another one? Thank you. Three dollars, please. What? I'm selling one for school. They cost three dollars. I'm not paying three dollars for a box of cookies, especially when somebody tricks me. But it's all for a real good cause. All the money we raise goes to buy stuff for the children's hospital. Besides, whoever sells the most cookies wins a trip to Disney World. That's all well and good, but no thank you. Okay. And just to show you there's no hard feelings, you can have one more for free. I don't want any. Just in case you change your mind. <laughs> Come here, you little cookie pusher. <laughs> Give me a box. Just one? <laughs> Peanut butter ones. Ah, good choice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got a shipment of vanilla creams coming in. Primo stuff. <laughs> George, have you seen the financial section? I've got it. What happened? Did they move Beetle Bailey? <laughs> I'm thinking of taking a plunge in the stock market. Really? I was thinking of trying a little investing myself. On what I pay you? <laughs> yes, George. Somehow I managed to scrape together a hundred dollars or so. A hundred bucks? You can't do diddly with that. Perhaps you can't, but I know how to diddle. <laughs> what are you saying? You know more about the market than me? That's exactly what I'm saying. Perhaps I might have phrased it a little better. 
Okay, it's a bet. What's a bet? We'll each invest a hundred bucks. See who comes up with the biggest profit. Winner take all. Fine. Shall we give ourselves, say, closing bell two weeks from tomorrow? Fine. That'll be uh, Friday the 16th, right? Black Friday to you. <laughs> That's okay. Keep on laughing. I've already circled a couple of hot prospects. Mm. Susquehanna Chemical. Yeah, they make industrial sealants, pesticides, toffee peanuts, stuff like that. <laughs> They're a real up-and-comer. Yes, they certainly were. Pity about the bankruptcy. What bankruptcy? Oh, I forgot. That's not until next week. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. Up one and a half. Up a quarter. Up one and seven-eighths. Well, up eleven. <laughs> I knew they were ripe for takeover. <laughs> Hello, George. Hey. Looks like your stocks are really taking off. Yes. I've upped all mine. Have you upped yours? I am doing okay. In fact, I'm expecting a very important call from my broker. Oh, he's already called. What do you say? I'm not sure. It was hard to make out. What with all the sobbing. Hey, have you seen Wesley? Um, Kevin took him to the mall to sell more cookies. Oh, honey, are you cold? No, this is my ski outfit. Helps me study. Let's see. Well, I'll talk to you later, Mom. <laughs> You're back. How'd Wesley do? He sold another 200 boxes. You're kidding. Man, I just don't know how that boy does it. Hey, Mom, I did great. Plus, what happened? What happened to your clothes? <laughs> Nothing. He went out like that. Well, nobody's gonna buy any cookies if you're dressed all nice. <laughs> I don't care. I will not have my son going out looking like some sort of orphan. I told people I had parents. Yeah, Dad's an unemployed alcoholic, and you're doing time for armed robbery. I told him he got framed. That's very sweet. Now go upstairs and change into something decent. I just want to kill my money first, okay? Fine. <laughs> Let me guess. Claudine Langer and Dundee. Hi, Angela. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Wesley. Sorry about your parents. Angela, you're late. We're supposed to be studying. I've got a better idea. Huh? Come on, let's go to your room. Okay. Hello, Angela. I'm Miss Belfonte. Well, how's the cookie business? Made your first million? I sold every box I had. Oh. And you know what? If I sell 50 more boxes, I'll pass Howie Huffnagel, and he can't sell anymore because he got sick standing in the rain. What is that? I'm going to win that trip. I'm going to go on the space ride, then I'm going to go on it again, then if I'm still not sick, I'm going to go on the teacups. You know, Wesley, you're not just selling cookies to go somewhere and have some silly fun. You're selling them to help children less fortunate than yourself. Yeah, I knew that. Just remember, helping others is its own reward. That should be enough. Sure. Anyway, I uh, saved you a box of pecan chewies. Just put it on my tab. <laughs> so then, right after Miss Ricky ran off the test, Shelley snuck into the Mimeo room and stole a copy. You mean this is really our algebra midterm? Yep. A bunch of us are going to get together later and try and figure out the answers. I'm supposed to bring the refreshments. Uh, Angela, isn't this sort of like cheating? No. It's exactly like cheating. I'm home, troops. Big deal. <laughs> Hi, honey. What are you doing home? I finished early. Huh. I thought you had class. Yeah, my lecture was canceled. So where's the kids? They're still at school. Oh. Where's Lord Plushbottom? <laughs> I believe Mr. Belvedere is at the store. You mean it's just you and me, all alone, in this big four-bedroom house? Looks like. <laughs> hey, guys, where are you going? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I caught you. About dinner, which would you prefer, the tongue or the rump roast? <laughs> you decide. Hi, Mom. Oh, Heather. Did you get your algebra test back? 
Oh, yeah. I did pretty good. 65? It's almost a C minus. Heather, it's a D. Well, it's better than last time. Don't be mad at Heather. Mrs. Owens was a very difficult test. Angela, what did you get? A hundred. <laughs> I don't understand. You two studied together? You took the same test? I guess Angela just studied a little more. I believe a mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> Obviously, I'm very disappointed in this, and you will not be going on that ski trip with Angela. Hey, Mr. Belvedere. Well, if it isn't the cookie monster. <laughs> hey, Westman, how'd it go? How'd what go? The contest. Oh, I won. You did? Yeah, I sold more cookies than anyone in the history of our school. <laughs> All right, Enchanted Kingdom, here we come. Oh, I'm not going. What do you mean, honey? I gave my trip away to one of the kids at the hospital. You did? Yeah, because helping others is its own reward. Right, Mr. Belvedere? I suppose so. <laughs> That's just That's great. Oh, good work. <laughs> anyway, I heard about Ben here and how he hasn't been doing so good, and how he's always wished he could go to Disney World. So I decided to give him my trip because, well, I'll always have another chance, but maybe Ben won't. <laughs> anyway, Ben, here's your airplane tickets and your key to the Magic Kingdom. Have a good trip. Reporting from a very happy hospital room, this is Ashton Kincaid, Action 3 News. <clears throat> hey, what'd you do that for, Dad? There's more news at 7. Hey, that's the national news, champ. I might be on it. Yes, and later you might be on Nightline, but right now it's almost time for dinner. Yep, we're all real proud of you, pal. Yes, what you did was just wonderful. I just did what any kid would do. Hell, oh, give me a break. Heather. Or I mean, he does one nice thing and all of a sudden he starts acting like he's Mother Teresa or Michael Landon or something. <laughs> I would have given you my trip, Heather, but I understand you're not going anywhere. You better shut up, guys. Heather, would you please help me lay the table for dinner? Sure. I'll help you, Heather, because you're my sister and I love you. <laughs> hey, Belvedere. What you making? Pecan chewies. Now that Wesley isn't pushing them anymore, I have to make them myself. Oh, I'm trying to duplicate the recipe, but I'm not exactly sure how much sodium pyrophosphate to use. Speaking of which, Susquehanna Chemical just split two for one. Oh, and about time. Yeah, today's the last day of the bet. And if I were you, I'd get on the horn now and start trying to dump some of your losers. I have no losers. Besides, there's plenty of time. The market closes in an hour. Not in Tokyo. <laughs> Mom, uh, mail come yet? I don't think so. Oh, honey, come here. I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What is it? I made you a scrapbook. See, I cut out all the newspaper articles about you and took all the nice letters that people wrote, and I pasted them all in this book for you to keep forever. Wow. Hi, guys. Hey, Dad. Hey, this is real nice. I'm glad somebody thinks so. So, uh, anyone call your paper today, Dad? You know, asking about me? I'm afraid not, pal. Uh. Hey, but last week you heard from the mayor, the governor, and you even got a letter from the first lady. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go check the mail again. Heather, what's all that? Oh, uh, it's my ski stuff. Hey, look, we've already been through all this. You're not going on that ski trip today. I know. I'm loaning my stuff to Angela. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it still okay if she goes? <laughs> See you at dinner. It's open, Angela. Hi, Mr. Velveeta. Hello, Angela. And it's Belvedere. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not very good at names. That's right. Numbers are more your forte. Huh? Once again, congratulations on that marvelous achievement, your algebra test. Oh, it was nothing. While you're here, you might help me figure out this recipe. I was never very good at math. Oh, sure. You see, it calls for one and a half cups of rice to serve three people. And I want to serve six people. So how much rice should I use? <laughs> Why can't they just share? <laughs> yep. Angela has just been helping me figure something out. Uh-huh. Excuse me. 
You got all your ski stuff? Yeah, come on. I don't want to miss the bus. Hey, my name is Wesley T. Owens. May I speak to Frank Sinatra, please? <laughs> well, I'm this little kid from Pittsburgh, and I did this really wonderful thing, and I think maybe Mr. Sinatra would like to know about it. Wesley, what are you doing? Nothing. Just don't Frank. I'll call back later. Bye. <laughs> Thinking of joining the Rat Pack? Well, I'm going to go see Mickey Mouse. I see, but you already gave your prize away. So did Joey Martinelli, and he still got to go. Who's Joey Martinelli? Kid I read about in this article. See, he won a week at the World's Fair selling chocolate bars. Only, when he gave his trip away, this rich guy read about it and sent him there for two weeks. In other words, you did your wonderful deed. Not only expecting praise and recognition, but a better trip as well. Yeah! Ah, that's the Wesley I've come to know and suspect. I've even figured out exactly how much somebody's got to give me. See, $1,197, that includes the plane tickets and the hotel room and the mouse ears and everything. And I wouldn't go my breath. But I gotta go. I deserve to. I'm the one who did all the work, not that kid in the hospital. Then perhaps you better just go over there and tell him you want it back. Okay, let me get my coat. <laughs> Are people coming to take more pictures? Oh, no, I just came because I wanted to see you. Wow, thanks. So, how are you feeling today? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I still have my bad days. But the doctor says I've been doing a lot better since you gave me that trip. That's sort of what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, yeah? <coughs> I was just wondering how you'd feel if something happened and you didn't get to go. Why? What's it say on there? Oh, nothing. I just meant, what if the park had to close down? Like if the dwarves went on strike or something. Would they do that? I don't know. Because they're grumpy? <laughs> Are you okay? You want me to call a nurse? <coughs> no, don't. <sighs> I'm okay now. Just gotta be careful not to get too excited. Oh, yeah? Then maybe this trip isn't such a good idea. <laughs> huh? I mean, it's real exciting down there with all the rides and parades and stuff. And you would get so excited, you might just keel over. It might feel real, real bad if something like that happened to you. What are you saying, Wesley? I'm just saying that... Maybe you shouldn't go on all the good rides the first day. Okay. See you, Ben. See you, Wesley. I couldn't do it. You must be losing your touch. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Hey, Kev. Don't come near me. I've been working on this for two hours. It's real fragile. Your mom and I could go back out and sit in the car. Yeah, would you? So where is everybody? I don't know. I think uh, Heather went skiing and Mr. Belvedere took Wesley to the hospital so he could take his trip back from that sick kid. What? what? <laughs> I am back. Hey, Wes. When you're leaving for Orlando. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Wesley, what were you doing? Nothing good. I only get my trip away because I thought I'd get a better one, but I didn't. So I went to take it back, but I couldn't. I um, guess I'm not as wonderful as everybody thought. Did it make you feel any better, Wesley? I never thought you were wonderful in the first place. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Heather, what are you doing home? I thought you went skiing. I did, but I decided to come back. Oh, did we have some second thoughts? No, we had a broken bus. <laughs> Heather, you deliberately disobeyed. Well, why shouldn't I? I mean, if I'm going to get punished for being good, I might as well do something bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Speaking of crummy behavior, I think Angela could give us a good example, right? No. Now, now, Angela, don't make me throw the rice in your face. Okay, okay. Mrs. Owens, 
This may come as something of a surprise to you, but I didn't get a hundred on my test because I'm smart. I cheated. Heather could have too, but she didn't. Thank you, Angela. Well, I'm gonna go home now and tell my mother. Good. Hope the shock doesn't kill her. Somehow I doubt it. What happened? Well, Angela and a couple of the other girls got a copy of the test. But I decided I should try and do it on my own. Of course, I did lousy. I think you did great. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Looks like you turned out to be the good one, not me. Hey, Belvedere. It must be closing time in Tokyo by now, so we might as well get it over with. Well, that's right, our little wager. I almost forgot. I was doing okay, but, you know. Anyway, here's what I ended up with, 145 bucks total. Mm, congratulations, George. That's very good. Yeah, sensational. Mm -hmm. So what'd you end up with? Three. Three thousand dollars? Three dollars. Here you go. It's all yours. What happened? I thought you were doing great. Wow! What is it? This letter's full of money. What? George, come over here. Who's it from? I don't know. There's no return address and there's no note or anything. How much you got there, champ? Exactly what I need to go to Disney World. $1,197. That's a very interesting number. <laughs> Here's three more. Might as well make it even. Thanks, Dad. Well, you know the market, George. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> At any rate, I received two postcards today. Wesley and George seem to be having a splendid time in Florida. And no, I don't wish I were there. <laughs> While Heather and Marsha seem to be having a marvelous time, swooshing down the slopes of the Poconos. What with Kevin spending the weekend with friends, I find I have the house to myself. And you know what that means. That's Mumbo's. <laughs>